Okay, so now let's talk about algebra and costs. So we're presented with a problem where each firm in a competitive industry has the following costs, where Q is an individual firm's quantity produced, where P is the price and Q is the quantity of the good. So let's take these three equations. So we have the total cost equation, the marginal cost equation, and the demand equation. And so importantly, this is the demand equation for the market. So important to note that right off the bat. So the first question is, what are each firm's fixed cost? So we have our total cost uh, cur curve right here, and each firm's fixed cost is $100. The fixed cost is just the unchanging cost. So now we're going to be asked, what are each firm's variable costs? So in this case, the correct answer is 1 fourth Q squared. And the reason why you know that is because variable costs change with the quantity produced. So you know that these are fixed costs because they're constant regardless of quantity. These are variable costs because they change with the quantity produced by the firm. So three, so three is asking, what are each firm's average total costs? So effectively, remember our ATC, our average total costs, are total costs divided by quantity. So in this case, to start this equation, we have our total costs, but we need to divide that by quantity. So we start off by taking 100 plus 1 fourth Q squared, dividing it by Q. That then equals 100 plus Q squared over 4 over Q. Then we're going to simplify that. So we get 400 plus Q squared over 4 divided by Q. And then we're going to bring that down here. So just bring that down here. And then we're going to apply the fraction rule. So fraction rule states B over C over A equals B over C times A. So we're going to do that. And we're going to get 400 plus Q squared over 4Q. So then we're going to simplify that. So we're going to simplify 400 over 4q and q squared over 4q. So that's going to give us then average total cost of 100 over q plus q over 4. So then we have our answer for the firm's average total cost of 100 over q plus q over 4. Okay, so now we're going to compute the average total cost at a minimum Q. So when is average total cost at a minimum? So in many examples, we're going to be given the quantity. We're going to be given the marginal cost. And remember, marginal cost equals the quantity for this specific example. That's given by the question. So when we are filling this out, we need to be really careful and remember in this case that if marginal cost is not filled in, but quantity is, we're just going to transfer each one of these over. So determine the average total cost at every single quantity. All we need to do is take 100 and from our prior uh, average total costs. So this is the equation we're going to be using. We're going to take 100 divided by Q plus Q over four. So for the first quantity of five, we're gonna take 100 divided by five plus five divided by four, which is gonna give us 21.25. So we're gonna do that now for every single quantity. And note here that the minimum, the lowest average total cost is going to occur at a quantity of 20. So what, that means then is that our minimum 
average total costs are going to occur at a quantity of 20. Okay, so for question five, question five is asking what represents the equation for each firm's supply curve in the short run? So remember, each firm's supply curve in the short run is determined by where the marginal cost curve is. And importantly for this question, we know that marginal cost is equal to Q. So our supply curve then is just going to be Q. So for six then, if it's asking in the long run, the firm will remain in the market and produce if quantity is greater than or equal to 20. And we know that because looking at the prior question, the minimum ATC is at a quantity of 20. So because of that, the long run, the firm will remain in the market and produce if quantity is greater than or equal to 20. So for seven, seven is now going to give you, there are six firms in the market. What is the equilibrium price, equilibrium quantity, number of units produced by each firm, and each firm's profit? So we first have the short run supply curve. So the QS is going to be equal to six. So the number of firms times quantity, because remember from the prior question, we determined the firm supply curve is Q. So now we're going to have the short run supply curve is six Q. Then we're going to take the demand curve, which is 320 minus 4P, and plug in the short run supply curve, or 6Q. Because remember, for competitive firms, price is equal to marginal cost and quantity. So then what we're going to be able to determine when we solve this is that equilibrium price is equal to 32. So now we're going to be solving for the market quantity. So the market quantity is just going to be equal to the number of firms, which the question tells us is six, times the price, which in this case is $32. So the total quantity produced in the market, in this specific market with six firms, is going to be 192 units. So to determine how much each firm produces, we're going to take the total market quantity divided by the number of firms, which in this case is 192 divided by six, and conveniently, that's going to give us 32. So each firm produces 32 units. So now let's determine the profits. So remember, profits are total revenue, minus total cost. So total revenue in this case is just gonna be the number of units produced times the price, so 32 times 32. Then we're gonna subtract the total cost for the firm, which in this case are gonna be 100 plus 1 fourth times 32 squared, which we get from the total cost curve. So that's going to give us 1,024 minus 356. So then when we take those two, we're going to get a profit for each firm of $668. And so remember, because there are positive profits in the long run, additional firms are going to enter this market. And then now, what is the long run equilibrium price quantity produced in the market and the number of firms. So now we're not given the number of firms. We need to determine that for ourselves. So we do that first by noting that the equilibrium price we determined from the prior, uh, prior example is 20. And so the market quantity now, we're gonna use this demand curve, is going to be 320 minus four times the market price of 20, which is gonna give us 240. And now to determine the uh, how many firms are gonna be in the market in the long run, remember marginal cost equals price, marginal cost equals quantity. 
So what we're going to do now is take this 240, so the market quantity, and we're going to divide that by the price. And that is going to give us the number of firms in the market in the long run, which in this case are 25%.